And so, so like, you got to point out people's selfishness, call them to turn away from that, you know? Yeah, true. Well, if you don't mind me asking, do you mind if I get your YouTube account by any chance? Sure, yeah. So I'll probably follow you. <coughs> I mean, I got to make an account. <coughs> Man, I wish I had a... Uh, YouTube account so yeah. I can give a shout out. I, that's, I'm guessing, I'm assuming that's your camera. Right? Yeah. yeah. What, what kind of camera is that? It's a GoPro Hero Session 5. Damn, how much does that cost? I got it on a, like a deal. It was about like 280. Oh shit. Yeah, it was around Black Black Friday. Oh, so, that, so that's a deal? What is it normally? It was like, normally it might be might be around, I'm not completely sure. It might be around 300, between 200 and $300 probably. I got, I got like a, a holiday pack where there were like other, yeah. a few other items included in, in there. Yeah. So. Oh, for sure. All right, well, what's your uh, YouTube account? <clears throat> it's, uh, it's just my name. It's Matthew Wiersema. Oh, my name's Matthew too. That's right. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> so you know how to spell Matthew, but then my- My Matthew's with one T. Oh, really? Yeah. Mine is two T's. Uh, <coughs> Matthew, and what's And then it's name? W. W. I E R. I E R. S E M A. S E M A. Yeah, I have some other videos on there yeah, you should check videos, out where I, where I have. Um, People party during a mass killing incident? <laughs> yep. Whole yeah, that was, the, that was the other day when I came down here to downtown Naperville. Oh, for um, St. For St. For St. Patrick's Day parade. Yeah, dude, I was driving through Trump like and stumbling in the road, dude. Really? I had to hit the brakes because someone was this dude goes about to walk like right, right across the road. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, people get crazy for that St. Pat stuff, but yeah, it's a pretty crazy video. Those people um yeah, I'll probably watch we're, that. we're like <laughs> trying to block my I tried to walk down the sidewalk, this guy kept getting in my way. Oh, like blocking dude. with his body. Yeah, it was probably some drunk dude. He wasn't. He didn't even seem drunk. You know, like people hate the truth and they really want to suppress it. And I, I was showing everybody what was happening. He like right down the street. Yeah, kids, were, kids insane. were like, at Planned Parenthood. Kids were getting murdered while everybody yeah. was having a parade. Wait, and, who's the owner of <clears throat> Planned Parenthood? Is it like Margaret Thatcher? What's her name? <laughs> Margaret Sanger. Or Margaret she, Sanger. She uh she started it. She, I heard she that founded she's like, it. Like trying like purposely, or I heard a conspiracy that she's like trying to kill like purposely black kids. Well, yeah, she she probably was. She most, said she said that black people were stuff. weeds that need to be exterminated. Oh my god, that's <laughs> so, so racist. Yes, she was an extreme oh racist, my god. and she did what she did um, to exterminate black people. And you know, like Planned Parenthoods will set up in minority neighborhoods. Yeah, that I, I, they're targeting minorities. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They probably have an agenda. Man, there's so much stuff out there. <laughs> The more yeah. I learn, the more like it's just yeah, man. my and you, mind gets blown, dude. And it all makes sense in the Christian worldview, you know? And that's why you should follow Jesus. Oh, I respect that, man. But yeah. just, I, I just, I believe in God, but I don't follow any particular religion. And you know what, like, can, can you understand me? Like, I, Well, no, because you're, you're coming up with your own God. It's just some your arbitrary opinion. Like, what, what is this God? Who is this God? You know, like, he, what are his attributes? Like, I mean, what is he doing? I mean, my own God? I want, you why can't, can't we all be gods? You I mean, can't. That sounds pretty crazy, but I mean. Well, I mean, how how do you how do you know anything in that worldview? You know. How, exactly. How you do you know? That, how do you know? What? How do you know what you know? You know, like how do you know what you are? Where 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 do you get where do you get knowledge? Well, I get my knowledge from books. Okay, so. Like but how? People. Okay, but how do you know? Like, how do you know that your perceptions are giving you the correct reality, you know? Because I, I try out whatever I read, and if it's successful, <coughs> then it works. You know, like, for example, if I <coughs> want to learn, like, a baseball technique, I'll, I'll read a book about it by Ted Williams, try that technique on the field, and if it works, then that, technically that just worked in my reality. Or if you right. tell me some something like, Hey, follow the word of God, and then I, I do that, and then I start, you know, feeling living a lot better. Then technically that worked too, you know. So you're relying on evidence, though. You're relying on your senses, and and 
if you're relying on your senses, you still you're still operating on the assumption that what you're perceiving is not an illusion. You know, like you're you're assuming that the nature of reality is that there's an order, that the things in the future are going to be like the things in the past, and that things don't just randomly change, and that your perceptions are reliable, your your senses are reliable, but but without the biblical worldview, you can't know that. So, so you, well, you know what? I, I actually, I might, actually, I will. I'm gonna, I want to read all of the spiritual books, like all the main ones, the Bible. The Quran, and I want to write notes on them. Yeah. And I just want to look at all of them. I want to study them for myself because I hear so much here, here, here. You know what I mean? The best thing to do is just to go to the source itself, read it for myself, see what it is, take the notes on it. If I have any questions about it, go to like a church or wherever the the place of worship is and yeah. ask some questions you know because that's the best way for me you know you could tell me all day but I mean the best way I feel like for me right. for me to learn is just to go read the book directly it, yeah so, it's it's good to study just, you know to study like that but I have to you know like I still it's my job to call you to repent you know because yeah. you could die today and go to hell you know it, it, you don't have a lot of time you know you can say oh, hey, we can get hit by a car right now right you know? right so like you can say i'm going to go and study all this stuff but you're still in rebellion against god and you're in danger of hell so like you need to put your faith in jesus christ and trust that he's the, your lord and savior and that he's the one who died on the cross you know why i died on yeah. a cross why for our sins to take the punishment that sinners deserve you know so that, like so that we don't take the punishment we deserve. Yeah. Like he came to die as a sacrifice to appease God's wrath because we deserve God's wrath, you know? God is just, he's going to punish people. He hates sin. We've yeah. sinned. Jesus came, too. right, Jesus came to, he, he took that sin. He, um, he was, God's word says, for he became sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God, you know? Yeah. So that, he rose from death he ascended to heaven and he, now he's a mediator between us and god if we trust in him you know like yeah. he's a, a representative on our behalf because we'll always fall short we can't attain perfection we've already sinned against god we need someone who's perfect to represent us all right and that's jesus you know he's our representative when we reject our sin and decide to follow him in faith so what would you say to someone who tells you that they're not afraid of hell <laughs> I have a lot of people who tell me that. I, I they, they will say. I, they, I, I have a friend's uncle who says that. Like, I'm not afraid. Well, of them, people, but. it's very easy to say that when you're not on fire. True. If yeah. they, if they had their hand on the stove when they were saying that, yeah, you're being right. burned alive, they would not say that. You yeah, know, you know, and I, it's you very know, easy to I say anything you when you're not on fire. You're right. But when you're on fire, it's a whole, a whole other reality. Story, yeah. You know. You're right. You're and right. it's and it's, it's serious. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the most terrifying thing you can imagine. Yeah. And but just like the only really thing I have is uh it's like you want me to repent so I don't go to hell so I, like so I'm not uh it's more it's kind of like you're kind of like almost like scaring me into doing it cuz it's like oh go to go to this so you don't go to hell you know what I mean it's not like you're telling me oh go to this so you can live better like you'll, you'll well, be happier you'll, it's you'll both. live better it's you'll, both you'll you know better like, relationships you, like, I mean you know? in 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 the in the, the Christian life is a life of suffering you know Jesus said deny yourself pick up your cross that's a it's an instrument of torture yeah. and death pick up your cross and follow me so it's denying yourself but at the same time God's spirit gives you strength and he makes it joyful, you know. He he makes you want to do it, and and Jesus did say like, don't fear those who can kill the body, but fear the one who can destroy both body and soul in hell. So Jesus said, fear God, because he can throw you into hell, you yeah. know. So Jesus did what I'm doing now, you know. He there, the God's word says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But it's <laughs> like he's he's telling me to join because to fear him it's it's not i, I can help you you know what i mean like, well he I will like help that, you you know you're not going to go to hell you know that yeah. your your main problem is that you're going to go to hell and that's it that's a terrible reality and jesus saves you from that that's the best news you could possibly hear you know but how are you going to tell that to someone who like let's say they're working 50 hours a week their life is shit they're blah 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 this you know 
average person, you know, how they live their life. You know, he's just going to want something now. They're you know they're going to want it now, but they st they still have a knowledge of God. Everybody knows that God exists. That's what the Bible tells us, and yeah. they know that they're accountable. Everybody lives with a sense of morality, yeah, knows even if they it, right, even yeah. if they d d defy God, they still respect people. You know, they still don't go around murdering people. True. They they yeah. still don't go around raping people. They have a sense of morality, yeah. and that God. God's word tells us that God wrote the work of the law on our hearts. So even if we are in rebellion against God, unbelieving, we still have a sense of his law. So, and we, we show that to people and, and we show them, hey, even if you want, you want your instant gratification now, you're in rebellion against God. You know God's law, he wrote it on your heart. You need to repent so that you can have eternal life. And nothing in this world right now is worth never-ending torment you know no, no instant gratification now is worth being on fire forever and ever without relief all right so, you know so do you so let's say let's take a, a very nice lady kind to everyone gives out money to charities everything she doesn't believe in christianity and then let's take a guy who's in jail he murdered three four guys sell the heroin to people he repents to to God in jail. They both die on the same day. He goes to heaven, she goes to hell. Yep. I mean right. if if whoever whoever is born again by God's spirit and they All who right. produces repentance, you know. I right, so you know, I actually got to <laughs> use the bathroom, Matthew. This is a good conversation. Man. Yeah. This is good. I respect yeah. what you're doing, man, and I, I hope the best of luck to you, man. Yeah, and I, I encourage you to follow Jesus, you know? Yeah. It, like this is the this is the time to do it, you know? You know the truth, man. Be, don't don't believe in just some arbitrary God. Follow the God of the Bible, you know. All right, man. You have a good one. Okay, you too.